Victory begins at Vijayalakshmi. Hi, hello guys. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is me, Deepa, HRT Grade 2 from Vidyalakshmi Metric High Secondary School, Chennaguppam. Now I am going to introduce a topic in Max. Before that, I am going to say a story. Hi kids, I hope all of you like stories. Isn't it? Okay. Now the story is about a tiny girl like you. Her name is Lily. The story name is Lily and the Counting Stars. Once upon a time, in a cozy little house, there lived a girl named Lily, who loved counting. She used to count all the things around her. One day, she looked into a window and saw the first sparkling star appeared in the sky. One, she whispered, showing a finger out. Soon, another star twinkled beside it. One, two, she counted happily. More and more stars popped out like a tiny diamond in the dark blue blanket. She was very happy to see all the stars and she particularly counted one, two, three, four, five stars which were twinkling like a diamond. And she was very happy to see the five stars in a starry line. Then she was wondered, looking at the stars, and she counted up to 200. Her eyelids felt very tired as she drifted off to sleep. In a dream, she was saying all the numbers, what and all she knew. And she thought every day these stars might be there waiting for her to count. How was the story children? I hope all of you like the story. From the story you have come to a conclusion that we are going to see the topic numbers. Numbers up to 200. So these are the numbers up to 200 and our ch chapter name is numbers up to 200. Uh, are you able to see the numbers from 1 to 200? Children I hope all of you we learn numbers up to 200 right? So these are the numbers. First of all what is numbers? Numbers are fundamental mathematical which is used to measure, label the objects okay? Now we will see, look at this picture children, there are ones and tens. Numbers can be represented by any form, whether it can be in cubes or it can be in any shape. Here they have given in cubes. Look at here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 cubes and how many tens are there? One, two. 3. There are 3 tens. 3 tens is 30. And see here, there are individual cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So these are called 1's. So there are 13 1's. 3 tens plus 13 1's gives you 43. Same way, we will see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 2 tens. 1, 2. 2 tens gives you 20. And see here, there are 23 individual cubes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23. So, so there are 23 ones. So 2 tens plus 23 ones gives you same 43. The cubes alone are different but the answer is same. Same way you have to count all the cubes in tens place and in ones place. So you have to add both of them and you have to give the answer. See here 1 tens give you 10. And 33 ones will give you 33. So 110 plus 33 ones gives you 43. Same way, look at here, there are no tens. This column is empty. So there is no tens. It is zero tens. 
plus only you have 43 ones. So 43 ones makes only 43, no tens. So it's 0 plus 43 gives only 43. So I hope all of you understood children how to count the cubes and write the answer. Next one. So before this we saw only two digit number. Now we are going to see three digit numbers. See here you have balloons. In one bunch you have ten balloons. So there are five bunch on top and five bunch down. So five plus five, ten bunch of balloons are there. Each bunch got ten balloons. So it is hundred. So ten tens is equal to one hundred. So how you will write here? See here. We write as hundred and we read as one hundred. Okay. Now next one. See here. Again you have five bunches. Here 5 bunches, all together 10 bunch of balloons, each bunch have 10 balloons, so 100 balloons plus see here you have only small bunch in that you have 4 balloons, so it is 4 ones, so 100, 100 plus 4, how you have to write 100 4. 104. So 104. While reading you have to read 104. While writing the number you have to write 104. 104. Okay children. Now next one the same way you have here 10 bunches of balloons plus see here you have 10 bunches uh, 10 balloons 4 bunches. So it is 4 tenths. So 100 plus 4 tenths plus 4 ones. So this is 100 plus 40 plus 4. So what you, how you will write in numeric? So 144. In words you have to write 144. Okay children, while reading you have to read 144, while writing the number you have to write 144. The next one, here we have 100 balloons plus 60 separately, so it is 6 tenths means 60 plus 5 ones, so 165. Same way here you have 100 plus 80, 8, ten, eight tenths make 80. So 100 balloons plus 80 balloons plus 2 balloons. So 182. This is 165 and this is 182. Okay children. Now we will see few example sums. So can you see here? In one bunch we have 10 balloons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So how many bunch of balloons are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here we have 10 tens plus C here. You have separately 1, 2, 3. So 3 ones. So 10 tens plus 3 ones is 110. 3. 10 10s makes 100 plus 3 ones is only 3. So it is 103. Next one. Here again you have 10 balloons in one bunch and 10 bunches are here. So again it is 10 tens plus look here you have 10 balloons 4 bunch. So how many balloons are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So same way you have 4 bunch. So it is 4 tens. Plus you have 3 balloons separately. So it is 3 ones. So the answer is 143. Okay children, 10 tens 100, 
4 tens 40 plus 3 once 3. So altogether it is 143. I hope all of you understood this. So in next class we will see in detail. If you like this share, subscribe and comment. Thank you.